Welcome back to Creations with Tanya. I'm Tanya, and today I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy moss stitch scarf. The materials you will need for this uh, scarf project is uh, yarn. I'm using Caron Chunky Cakes. I also have a pair of scissors. A hook I'm using for this demonstration um, an 8 millimeter and a darning needle for at the end when you want to weave in your tails. So um, the Caron Chunky Cake is <coughs> called Rice Pudding and it is a super bulky size 6 and it does say to use an 8 millimeter hook, crochet hook. It's 100% acrylic, 9.8 ounces, 280 grams. It uh, is 297 yards. And when we're done, we will have a beautiful, warm, moss stitch scarf. better I hope so slip not and if you watch my previous video it shows you how to do a slip knot and I'm doing it slowly pulling tight making sure it's loose on my hook now the size I did I did 20 chains and this is divisible by two so depending on how big you want it or how thin you want your scarf. I did the it at 20. For this moss stitch scarf, you will need to do multiple of two. So that means I did a chain of 20, um, but you can do it however wide you want your project to be. So whether it is smaller for a child or uh, wider, you want to cover up more of your face on those cold winter days, go right ahead. So I've chained out 20 right here. And now once you've done that, what you need to do is count in from the hook your fourth chain and you never count the loop on your hook so one two three four I'm gonna put my hook in and then we're just gonna do a single stitch and yarn over and pull through we're gonna chain one and then we're gonna skip a stitch and we're going to go into the second stitch right here and put your hook in and yarn over, pull through the yarn and yarn over and pull through both loops. Single stitch and chain one, skip stitch, next one. Okay, so um, I skip a stitch going to the next I think I changed going to the next one it can be difficult sometimes just get your hook in there chain one and last stitch And do the exact same thing for row two. You're gonna find the hole and that's where you're gonna put your hook. So as you can see I'm going to put my hook in, loop over, pull through, and then I'm gonna 
chain one and I'm going to skip this chain the stitch you did in the previous row and then find the hole and put your hook in there and chain one and do skip a stitch and put your single crochet stitch in the next hole chain one and so on all the way down to the end same thing as we did um, for the second row and basically this is what you do through for the whole pattern you just repeat keep repeating See a bigger sample than a couple of rows. done a few rows to one two three four I've done five rows and as you can see what a beautiful nice tight and it weave it makes and it's nice and flat and uh, you get this beautiful scarf that I made for my husband and as you can see you can see the beautiful pattern that it makes I use the variegated yarn uh, you can use solid yarn whatever your heart desires so i'm going to show you how to just weave in the tails at the end i have my darning needle here i'm just gonna put it through you might want it keep it a little bit longer and then just weave in and sort of go meander around pull it through and then I like to you know go back weave it sort of back and forth if you want you can also do this and then do a knot is totally your preference I usually don't I usually just weave it back and forth a few times and then maybe go back around like that and then pull it through so it's nice like that and then snip it off the end and there you go. Your tail has been weaved in. And you can't even tell. Beautiful. And your scarf is finished. Please join me again and in another wonderful tutorial of a crochet quilting project, acrylic pouring. Thank you.